Thank you. Thank you, Trip Durham, your entire team behind this. Thank you, Ronnie Green. He's the first, I believe, to nominate me. He's an amazing talent as well. Uh, what the Green family's meant to Charlotte and to the media here is it's, it's just amazing. So I get, a, I get emotional thinking about it. Um, all I've ever wanted to do, truly, in my life is to make people proud, starting with my family. And that extends to the state of North Carolina. I'm proud to be a part of this great state, this class. I'm proud to represent my family here today and tonight. Thank you. This is very, very special. I'll never forget it. God bless you all. Thank you. I mean, you shared some of the facts that you family right up the road uh, from here. You grew up in this area. What does this mean to you? Well, it means my life is kind of gone full circle. And, it's, uh, and there's nothing like going home. Whoever came up with that old line, you can never come home again, never go home again, not true. I mean, this is very meaningful to come back to this state that I love, that meant so much to me and my family. And to be recognized, there are no words. Some of the people here you, you've actually broadcast, you, you know them personally. Yes. Yeah, what yeah. about that? Well, I'm looking at Steve Smith and uh, was around Steve for most of his career, uh, whether it was here at Carolina where he really made his career or even when he was at Baltimore. And now that he's been in the broadcast business, we've worked together on Thursday Night Football. So that's very cool. I've always admired him. Coach McKellop, back when Steph, and Davidson made that run in 08. Billy Packer and I had their wins against Gonzaga and Georgetown in the first and second rounds. I had Davidson other years in the NCAA tournament. Always admired him. Always felt he could have coached anywhere. But his commitment and loyalty to Davidson, what a first class gentleman. Uh, Ron Wellman from Wake Forest was the chairman of the NCAA basketball committee. And you know, that was a big part of my life. And he's just did everything in his career with great distinction. Very cool. It's an amazing class, and um, I really appreciate them. For some reason, decided I, I belonged in this group. Doesn't feel real, but I'm going to accept it tonight. I have to ask you, you broadcast every sport. Your favorite? If well, you, can... you know, this year um, I, I got to broadcast the Super Bowl for the seventh time. Tony Romo and I were there for the Kansas City San Francisco overtime thriller, the most watched show in the history of mm -hmm. television. Uh, great honor. There's nothing as big as a Super Bowl in this country. All those years, I get to call 32 national championships and Final Fours. How do you say anything second to that? But then there's this little event down in Augusta, Georgia called the Masters, and a tradition unlike any other, right? Um, it's I'm a father of three, and you try to pick of those three sporting events, it's the same thing. Which one's your favorite child? It's a little difficult to zero it in. But I will say the tug in the heart was probably driven the most by the Masters Tournament. It just always touched me as a kid. I think it was more predicated on the storytelling and the quality of, uh, of description, what I heard from those voices of my youth. I wanted to be one of those voices.